Hello, men, women, children, babies. Um, today, we will be... Oh, I got to write this time. Okay, <laughs> we will be Natasha Denona for the gold palette. And y'all already know, when I saw this, y'all knew what time it was. Y'all knew I had to have it. Y'all just knew. Like, we was here. This is what it looks like on the outside. So this is my first big one. I usually just buy the holiday ones that are 48 bucks or whatever, smaller. But y'all know why immediately. Look at this. That, that, this awesome shade right here. Which is weird though, because to me this looks a lot like the um, Chroma um, Crystal. That's, um, what is it? Um, burnt Terracotta and Green. So I'm about to swatch those right now to see if it's... And see, this trying to fall out too. What? What? What is up with Natasha? No, everything falling out. Look at this. See? Like what? Natasha, get it together, girl. Or else I'm gonna need like all my receipts for all my Natasha stuff and just take it all back because you don't want too much. I can't. I don't know what's going on with this and why it's doing this. So to me, this one, I'm trying to dig in deep and get some because I don't know what's going on with this. They weren't doing this before. My grandma was staying with us and she likes to play in my makeup, so that might be why it's acting the way it's acting. Y'all honestly don't know because it usually gives me a little bit more pigmentation, not much. But see, look at that. I'm gonna squash this one. See, they look like damn near exactly the same. So it's like, if you already had that chroma crystal, you don't necessarily need this. <coughs> so I ain't got to swatch this from the last one on my hand. I didn't wipe it off because I was just too lazy and fast. So we're just going to swatch it up here. So this is the chroma crystal right here. As you can see, you can hardly see it. It's like green shimmer. And then this one is, see, it's the exact same color. How you selling this to me separately and then in the palette? Exact same thing. So if you just like this palette for this color... Just go buy this chroma crystal it's number it's dual chrome top coat burnt terracotta slash green on a website and they're giving you 25 dollars off right now when you spend 75 so buy this and like something else and you get a percentage off and then you can have this color and you don't have to buy this palette if that's really what you wanted for like a special dual chrome shade that you got in here because it's not special it's the exact same thing as this thing right here so i had to start off the video by saying that because when i saw that color i was like that looks exactly like this little individual one i had and that's because it's exactly the same now so Natasha it already has stuff falling out on me if y'all watched the last video that's up now. Um, and then this is trying to come out the pot. And then I got it in the palette too. So I guess if it falls out the pot, at least, you know, I got it in the palette. I don't know. That doesn't make me feel any better. Because, you know, I still paid you the I think those are like $38 or $28 or something crazy like that. So like I already paid you for this color and then you give me this color again. Not to mention it's trying to fall out the pot just like the last video. Y'all, as y'all can see, I'm still guilty when it comes to Natasha to know that we're gonna get this video out the way so I don't have to deal with her no more because she doing too much. Now nah, I see my fancy face. I'm like, your ass. Um, anyway, sorry. Among other things. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, so on my lips, I have um, Chocolate Wasted by Dose of Colors. And I used um, a liner from a uh, those people called Jordana. And right now, we're going to use the Soft Open Paint Pot. And put this on to prime the lid. I just did the Cranberry Palette in the last video. So that's why I'm like, I'm about tired of her. And the same, because I only did two videos. She has some okay stuff, like the shadow, the knife, but it's just like, you know, I don't want them falling out of the pan all the time, Natasha. What the hell is that about? People paying you these exorbitant amounts of money and then shit falling out of the pan. No, Natasha, this is not acceptable. Pat, mother Pat shit ain't falling out of the pan. Like, I got <laughs> damn it, five of her palettes and not one of them has fallen out of the goddamn pan. And she charges just as much as you. So, um, the choir miles, I don't know. I'm sorry, she charges less than you. Let me get it right. She charges less than you. And, you know, your ass up here, $48 for five pan palettes and one is falling out the damn pan every year, Natasha. The last <coughs> few years you did these Christmas palettes, stuff has been falling out. I bought Mother Pat's Christmas palettes, I guess, 6 for 55 and ain't nothing falling out of nothing. I got her $125 palette, the one with the blue in it, because, of course, y'all knew I had to have the blue one. And ain't shit falling out of that, so, I, I mean, and y'all both in the UK, so, again, what is your excuse? Maybe you need to talk to Natasha about handling your business better. Because people seem to love her and, you know, you out here giving me faulty products and expecting the same price as Auntie Pat. So that's why I just stick with Auntie Pat for the most part. I saw this palette that was nice and I was like, y'all give Natasha a chance. Because my one from last year didn't pop out. But, you know, this year she be up here popping out. And that's the second Natasha thing today that has tried to pop out on me. So I'm like, I'm kind of dumb with Natasha right now. Like people with dumb with Tart, I'm dumb with Natasha right now. She's doing entirely too much and pissing me off. Okay, uh, y'all saw the Instagram, y'all saw the videos of, I mean, y'all saw the picture of this palette, but I'm going to show it again in here. <coughs> this is what it looks like, even though I showed it at the beginning, but, and I'm going to start off with, um, let's see, um, I think I will start off with, 
Yeah, I kind of want to start with the chocolate brown. So I think I'm going to do this one. I was going to do this one, but maybe I'll do a little bit of both. Yeah, I'll start off with this one, and then I'll go into that one, and then I'll do that one, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, so. Is anybody excited about this 25-day blitz thing at all? Because I'm personally not. From what I saw from the first week, there was only one thing I wanted to get. And it was, um, sorry, I'm going to use a, um, a ColourPop blending brush or whatever. Yeah, I, but... I'm not excited about anything besides like the day of Becca because I wanted to get that Lava Gold highlighter for like a while and it's going to be on sale for 19 bucks. So I might snag that tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see because I'm going to have to go and sort of swatch it again because I feel like it felt a little grainy because it has like these purple reflux in it. So I don't know if I necessarily want purple reflux and highlight on my face. So I don't know how I'm feeling about that. But, you know, we'll see. This is blending nicely. So it doesn't have a problem with the blending. It's my problem is it falling out of the pan like it did. I did not. Oh, I got scared about something for the call. Let me stop. And it's not like I'm trying to throw shade at her. It's just more like if you're going to ask people for these exorbitant prices, I expect the eyeshadow to stay in the pan. That's my problem. I don't want the eyeshadow to fall out of the pan. I just thank God it fell out in a full, you know, like form so I could finish the video with her. But I definitely was not feeling it just falling out of the goddamn pan. Like, Natasha, what, what the hell is this? Anyway, but like I was saying, so the week worth of Ulta stuff I saw so far was not impressive. They got a leaked version of it online, though. I think it's Beauty Deals BFF that has one up. I always go to her to find, like, great deals on stuff because that's how I got, like, find out those colors having 40% off from Black Friday to Monday. And I end up getting pretty cool palette. I talked about this in the last video, so I'm going to try to um, segue and talk about some other stuff now, too. But I'm just going ahead and darkening up this whole situation here. I'm trying to get it blended out pretty nicely because I'm like when it has like the line. I actually did my first quick crease in last video too, so the well, first one on camera. I had did my first one last week with that poison ivy green look mm -hmm. I wore in my haul video on mm -hmm. my current favorite mm -hmm. fat the favorite palette video. I'm thinking about doing one of those at home since you know that's where my expensive stuff is. So if you want to get some stuff from Sephora or some higher end stuff they can sell at Sephora and also I can do that now. But I was thinking about doing the clutter as a bonus video just because I love watching new clutters. And like I said in that video before, I ordered hella new palettes. So I need to be getting rid of some palettes. Now, when I get rid of makeup, um, it most likely goes to my family members. Like the camera woman gets first pick. Then my other cousins out of town who don't live here, whatever the camera woman doesn't want, they get. And then sometimes I'll sell some stuff depending on what it is. If it's like a popular product that's out now that I'm trying once and I didn't like, then I'll just go ahead and put that on my Vinted or my Macari. The best place to buy makeup for me is Vinted because that's the place where I'm most reasonable because it's like they don't charge fees. So if you ask me for $5 less on something, I'll be more likely to be like, yeah, you know, it's cool because they don't charge fees at all. Whereas with um other places, they do want to charge you fees. So I have to be mindful of that. And sometimes I have to tell people no. And it's like I don't hate to like have to tell you no. But it's like they already charged me 20% and, you know. I have it set to where I can make at least a fourth of back of what I paid. So I can't really afford to necessarily, you know, be with that. Um, this is a Sigma E45. As y'all know, I'm obsessed with Sigma brushes. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite brushes to use. Sigma. Then after that, I guess I'd use like ColourPop and BH Cosmetics. But Sigma, Sigma is Sigma. the king for me. I want to try some Smith brushes, Sigma. so I haven't tried them. Um, I have to see how those go. Um, so I'm going to go in with... Oh, that's right. No. I want to go in with this mustardy shade right here. Um, I'm, I'm not looking at the names up here because anybody, anybody got time to talk. You call Dijon, excuse me. Ha ha, Dijon. And I did, I used the log and teak before. So this is teak. Then we went in with log and now we're going in with Dijon. I love colors like this. I'm just hoping it'll look the way I want it to on me because these colors have a tendency not to look as great on people my skin tone so I'm hoping it you know, <coughs> look the way I want it to and we're just going to go in the crease with this and see how well that works out because I feel like it usually blends out to nothing and then I'm just like oh okay it's doing better than the um, color grain one in my opinion and that's supposed to be a black on brand and I wasn't really feeling it so and that's my thing like I always feel bad because it's like I tried the brand, black on brands and I feel like I don't like certain things that they have and then I feel bad because I'm like you know they're black and that's to be catered for me but yet I don't like the products that they come out with like I tried Beauty Bakery and it, I tried a few things from them and I wasn't necessarily in love with those either like I don't like the 
what is coffee and cocoa palette. I don't like that. I don't like the um what palette is that that they have? Um I did not like the um the Neapolitan ice cream palette. I wanted to try to do it for the gram. I wanted to give them another chance to give me eyeshadow palettes because I'm not liking the Game of Cones um palette at all. Like I don't like the color layout of that, so I won't be buying that. Plus it's like I have the Juvia Toys um masquerade palette, so I feel like that wouldn't necessarily be a necessity for me or something that I would need. Okay, yeah, so this color isn't doing a great on me either. I don't feel like this. So since we've already done it on one side, we have to do the other. I'll probably just cover it up with a different color because I'm not really feeling this one right now. I'm just hoping it doesn't end up looking muddy or whatever. Or maybe I'll just bring the shimmer high enough to where you don't see it at all. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, but it's not doing anything. Colors in this, like, this just don't really do anything for me in the crease. Like, I have to put them all over the lid and do, like, a matte look. And I rarely, if I ever do matte looks, it has to be, like, a really dark, vampy color that I really like. Like, an olive green. I'll put an olive green all over the lid. I think I'm doing it. Matter of fact, believe it or not, y'all, I got the Jacqueline Hill palette to work finally. The arm, the gorgeous one I talked so much shit about in the video. I actually got it to work finally. So I was like, maybe my skills got better. Or maybe, like, I just had a, a good day that day. I don't know. But mm -hmm. it actually looked decent. So, and it didn't look patchy or anything. But I just did an all matte look. So I find, so I guess with that palette, I had to do an all matte look or else it would, you know, look like shit. Which is not what I wanted to look like. I'm going to go in with the color Piper right now. This one right here. With this, yeah, Sigma E45 like I was talking about before that I meant to. And try to do, like, I guess, like a halo eye thing. I was thinking maybe I should cut the crease first and then do the halo eye thing. So that way, like, all the colors would be more vibrant. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. Let me do that now. So we're going to take the soft focus paint pot again in the MAC 247. And cut my crease. cut it up here where that um color was that I didn't like the Dijon color I try to leave like a little peek of it but for the most part we're trying to get rid of that because I don't like the way that looks on me it would probably look best if I put like a like if I did a cut crease and then like pat it on top of that because it would probably look more vibrant then but I want to find a, a colorful palette that's really nice for people my skin tone that isn't like the Morphe and James Charles palette because other than the whole Jaclyn Hill debacle I was like yeah Morphe you can suck it I'm not buying shit else collabs for me I mean man if it is Jaclyn's because I was just like so done with that shit so I will not be buying the James Charles one I didn't buy the Bretman Rock one even though I think they came up before Jaclyn's fold if I remember correctly just like I don't really know anything about Brett Rockman I don't watch Brett Rockman so I was like I don't really want to buy this plus it was like I don't like the names of the shadows in the pa in the, um highlighter palette like i don't want to put a highlighter on it's called shaky bitch you know like i'm sorry i just don't although i may be a shaky bitch i don't want to wear that on my face like call me petty if you want that's fine but i just wasn't feeling the names that went along with that so i was like yeah i'm gonna keep the coins in the pocket and then he came out with the one with color pop and it looks nice like don't get me wrong but i'm like it looks a lot like the soul and mara palette to me i understand his blue palette is more cool tone but i'm like I already have like a million cool tone palettes, so it's like I don't need another one. And it's like it's ColourPop, so they're always reasonably priced. So if I want to go back and get it, I you know can. It's just I'm not really trying to just buy it right now because it's just like so many other palettes that come out that I actually genuinely want. I would literally buy it just to review for you all, and then be stuck with it because ColourPop doesn't like do returns. So maybe if they like sell it at Ulta or something, I'd I'd be more likely to consider buying it because you know then I can. Turn it if I don't want to be bothered, which I'm probably not going to want to be because I have so many, like I said, other palettes like that. So it's like, hmm. Anyway. So we just got to do a halo eye type situation. And I try not to use a lot of blue because y'all know me. I normally just want to reach for all the blues in the palette. But I was like, since we got this um challenge video coming up next, I'm hoping to start a challenge and, you know, other people might want to do it. But we'll see. It might already be a challenge that exists, and I just don't know about it. Because, you know, since there's millions of people on the internet, who the hell knows what's already out here and what's been done before or not. It's just something fun that I've always wanted to do with makeup. So I figured I'd make a little challenge video and, um, you know, see how well that works out. I don't want to be like Nikki Tutorials and known for challenges or anyway. Thing. I would like to be known for eyeshadow palettes, though, because 
that's the only real thing I care about makeup, eyeshadow palettes, foundations. Those are two things that are like more important to me. Like I think I have, and I have a lot of highlighters too. So those are like the three things that I really concern myself with with contour makeup. If my highlight needs to be popping, my eyeshadow needs to be on point, and my foundation needs to be like flawless and look like skin and cover up a lot of the imperfections I have. Because if you haven't noticed, like I have a lot of like acne situations going on here, so I'm like I want it to be covered up and not super obvious and all that because I have a lot of dark marks and stuff from acne bumps so I have popped and things like that and until my skin gets like better I want to find some you know good full coverage foundations that work so I'm always like on the hunt for foundation so if you have favorite foundations that like work well for acne prone skin do tell girl and keeping them all them secrets to yourself because you have the knowledge and um hook me up with the info you know because i have a lot of foundations if y'all saw my foundation collection video you saw the one here you haven't seen one of my gum i thought so it's like more foundations over there obviously too but the ones you saw off the video like if you tried any other ones besides those let me know so i can kind of broaden my horizons if you will i don't really use that many drugstore foundations but again, since y'all don't really care about the drugstore, like, you can list them and I'll, like, you know, try them out. And then I'll shout them out if, um, they work. But since y'all don't care, I'm not about to make a whole, you know, situation out of it. It's just gonna be more like, hmm. Okay, so. For the lid shade, I'm thinking we combine, um, what is it? We combine Ori, Oro, and this, um, Lime Chrome Crystal or whatever. So, I think that's what I'm about to do now. Um, let me I'm trying to brush with it on. Um, I'm gonna take this BH. It's from the Crystal Quartz Collection, number eight. And I'm gonna start with Aura. And then I feel like the lime green will look cool on top. So let's see. Since this is really glittery, I'm scared it's gonna fall all over my face. And I don't really want that, but you know, it's too late for me now. So. Cool. And I'll probably take my finger and put the chroma crystal looking color in the middle because I feel like since it's similar to that chroma crystal that I showed y'all at the beginning that you know you basically just copy since they claim all these shadows and then no they are not because I watched somebody's video I think it was hashtag fab life she was watching she was saying all the shades and the palettes was new which I clearly just proved wrong because that chroma crystal has been out long before this palette even came out and it's the exact same color i know she wasn't trying to mislead anybody but i'm just letting y'all know like i've had that chroma crystal for a while so that is not the business at all like touch up in line folks because y'all saw me swatch it and you saw it was the exact same color so it's not like i made it up or i'm trying to like be shady i showed you that it was the exact same color but yet all the colors in the palette are supposed to be new so they are clearly not or else that wouldn't have been the case I'm just trying to blend these together somewhat. I don't know why though, because I'm about to put another shade on top of it. But I guess I'm just trying to put the other shade as well as on top of it. I think about putting, um, doing some out of V-Work just so, you know, it'll look more like a halo eye, because right now I feel like it just looks like all my other eyeshadow looks with no type of halo eye dimension like I was going for, but, you know, at the same time I'm like, maybe we should just leave it like this. I don't know. And then we're going to go with Lime Chrome there, which looks so cool to me. And then I try to pat it. I'm going to try to just pat it in the center so you can see the other color on the outside. <coughs> yeah, just like right in the center part of the eye right here. Like this. That looks kind of cool. Sorry, I'm all quiet, but I'm trying to like make sure I get it just in the middle part, and that's it. So I'm trying not to like talk a lot and distract myself. Yeah, that looks yes. That's y'all. Okay. I'm gonna put it on the other side. 
I told you when I was more mascara too, because I feel like I wipe it off when I use the makeup wipe to take off the, the last Natasha Denim look. I feel like we making a good time for filming today, and it's like normally it's like way later. But it's like mm -hmm. rainy and dark outside here in Chicago, so it looks like it's still about the same time to me. That's because of mm -hmm. like the temperature and the weather. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm trying to make it like a circle type way things to look that's why I'm obviously patting my finger in a circle okay I'm feeling it let's try to blend this together a little bit better so this is probably be nice if I go to the eyelids with this palette just because mm -hmm. it looks so fire mm -hmm. and then maybe I'll like use this one and just or try to do a Dijon, this matte all over the lid look. Okay, let's put on some mascara, y'all. And then I will talk about how I feel about this palette as opposed to the one I just posted a few minutes ago. Which is the Cranberry one. My lashes are kind of stiff from the mascara I had on before. But I just want to give like a little lift since I don't ever with falsies I don't even own any don't plan on owning any maybe eventually when I you know people start sending me stuff maybe I'll start wearing some lashes mm -hmm. but I doubt if I'll do it then either I just don't like lashes I don't know what it is I know they make looks look way better oh y'all I've been practicing wing eyeliner too like I did it okay I always have a problem doing this eye so that's why I don't do any videos yet but like once we figure out how to situate this eye and her whole you know life problems um then maybe I'll probably do that too because some looks I feel like would look better with eyeliner like this one but you know like I'm not that great at it I'm not about to mess up a whole eye look just try to be extra like other girls and show you winged eyeliner like if the eye look looks fine I'm not gonna fuck it up because we ain't got no editing around here we the whole eye look through shit and we ain't got time for that anyway um so this is the palette um my feelings on it well my eyes they look hot um this palette actually blends out really nice it performs really well it's way better than the one I, I wouldn't say it's way better it's on par with what i just used and that one was nice and the shimmer was nice and all oh, that was actually nice because i've heard people complain about some of her palettes and the ones they complained about i made sure i didn't buy but i heard good things about this one and i was gonna get this one anyway just because of the color scheme in it but if I would say it was worth the price. I got it on sale when they had a 20% off coupon, so it was more worth it to me then, obviously, because it's $129. Girl. Excuse me, $129? Mm -hmm. And then I got the um the the cranberry one, I think, when it was... I got cranberry one before then because it was one of her cheaper ones, so I was like, I'll just go ahead and get it then because I knew I wanted to get this one when the sale came and along with some other more expensive things. So if it's like $50 or less, I'll go ahead and just buy it before the sale starts, but when it gets to like 100 and stuff like this, like the Pat McGrath Palace and stuff like this, I'll wait for that sale to hit before I, you know, bought it because I was like, no. But I mean, it's worth it if you like these kinds of colors. Believe it or not, I don't like these kinds of colors for the most part. Like, I like probably like up to this part of the palette and these other parts over here I could care less about but this part of the palette was worth it to me and this brown shade right here but other than that like this part I could live without I don't care but you know it's it's worth the price point it's at I guess as long as the pants don't fall out of this one too um I hear these are magnetic though and you're supposed to be able to pop them out or something like that I don't know how true it is or maybe that's just the safari one and the um tropic one but if you can get your hands on it and you got it during a twenty percent off sale, it was a, it was a good deal. Otherwise, I don't necessarily think I'd pay it just because I don't know if it's necessarily worth all the hype that goes along with. Now, um, Mother Pat's palettes they are definitely worth the hype in my opinion. Natasha Denona, not so much just because of the inconsistencies that go on with her formulas and she constantly changes and shit. Not to mention she out here lying to people apparently because y'all saw this. And this are exactly the same, but this palette also had nothing but new shades in it. So it was like your lie on top of it. So I don't I don't know if I can do on that. But um yeah, that that's pretty much how I feel about this palette. And I'll see y'all in the next one for the um challenge. Bye.